month of January and what a month it has been so you know it dawned on me well why not I incorporate stem into my poetry and, and of course I love to dance and I love music you know so it's just a beautiful union <laughs> of everything that I enjoy and I had so much fun writing this and putting all of this together so with that said what we're gonna do is dissect energy i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys you know bump your shoulders a bit because i've been bopping my shoulders well, i'm just so excited about you know really venturing into this realm and and really just putting myself out there and just this is my personality this is who i am and um i'm having so much fun doing this and it is uh rewarding in the sense of just having that inner gratification of knowing that I'm emitting energy, you know, positivity, positive energy, and uplifting, uplifting and elevating the human race. That's one of the reasons why I chose to go into engineering and, um, and it's amazing that that's what I get to do with poems and, uh, and merging, merging it all together makes it even, it's just, uh, just, uh, an awesome, awesome feeling. So I'm so thankful and excited and, um, yeah, so let's go into energy, energy. <laughs> all right, here we go. Call me a jewel. Quantify me in jewels. My worth is infinite. Boundless, explore it, maintain it, dwell in it, claim it. It's my capacity. It's my dynamic. Enter my dimension. See it through a lens. Fill it through your lens. Force of my energy. The source is divine, transferred quantitatively. Emitting heat transparently. Pitching through as light, the original sunlight personified as the sun created the sun. All right, that first stanza is, whoo! I love it because it starts off as a command, as a, it's like, like, wait a minute, call me a jewel. Quantify me by jewels. My worth is infinite. Whoo! those three, those three lines. I know that's right. And so, um, the intention behind this is just to not only relate STEM um, with our everyday lives, but also help us understand the power of who we are as human beings. And um, especially as women, you know, it's one thing to say that you know who you are but when you truly stand in that and when you truly emit that and exude that there's a presence there's a power in that and a lot of times you know you know we have to understand that um who we choose to be for example for me i am a believer as i am i am a believer and because i am a believer i choose to represent i choose to uh follow a path that i believe that um is in alignment with the divine and for me that's a choice and it's all we all have choices you know my path may not look the same as your path and that's okay and that's the beauty of being a human being that's the beauty of having different cultures and ethnicities is understanding that we all have different paths and being okay with that. And so as we choose to reflect and as we choose to represent who we are and operate in integrity, operate in love, operate in compassion and in empathy, operate as true believers, and most of all, being alive in consciousness, it put things in perspective. I touched upon this actually, if not last week, a couple of weeks ago. It's one thing to say you're grateful and this is what I've learned or this is what I attribute for me. Gratitude, there has to be some sort of, some level of satisfaction with gratitude. It's realizing, wait a minute, who I am? I am grateful for who I am. I 
am grateful for where I am in my life today. I am grateful and satisfied for who I am and where I am today. And so really understanding that and standing in that power, standing in your energy, standing in your true presence as your true self, who call me a jewel, quantify me by jewels. My worth is infinite, okay? Yes. And it goes on boundless, explore it. It's, it's like, Woo, woo, and then it says, claim it. Okay, I love that. It's a, it's a, com it's commanding and it's demanding, but it's also um, decreeing and declaring what makes us unique and what makes us the awesome beings that we are. Beings of worth beings of you know truth beings beings of dominion all right yes let's go to the next stanza to be formed electrically chemically thermally mechanically can you hear the sound do you see the light revealed physically emitting effortlessly and at times cataclysmically a movement is on the horizon powerfully. I am here. You are here today in one place. The power to do, to be, to work methodically or erratically. It is my privilege. It's my blessing. It's my birthright. The second stanza is so important because I incorporated, I truly incorporated stem subjects <laughs> and uh, the reason why i did that is because i wanted to make sure that um the whole preface the principle of energy uh what it is is interwoven into this poem because i want you to 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 learn something you know be like oh i never knew okay you quantify uh, energy using jewels, J-O-U-L-E-S. That's interesting. Look that up. Look up the, the, the formula. <laughs> the, so there are some main types of energy that I want you to keep in mind. And it, it's electrical, chemical, mechanical, thermal. There's sound and light and, and it goes on and on. So those are some main types of um, energies to, to, to keep in mind. And the main thing is that energy can energy cannot be destroyed, you know. So it's interesting that energy transfers, you know, it transfers between states, and that's a very key thing that I incorporated in this in this poem as well. But to be formed electrically, chemically, thermally, mechanically, can you hear the sound? Do you see the light? You know, that's just all, oh, that's like incorporating the different types of energies. And um, to understand that as human beings, we hold that power. We are energies walking around and it's important for us to understand who we are, you know? The light that we're emitting, the light that we choose to emit as, again, believers as I am, as a woman of faith, as an engineer, as um, someone who chooses to abide by um, scriptures in the Bible and um, the principles of Jesus Christ. That's what I believe in. And I'm okay with that. And I stand firm on that. And I have practically all my life. So, and that to me is exciting because again, going back to being satisfied. It's one thing is that, yeah, we're grateful, but are you satisfied? And understanding the, the principle of gratitude will open your eyes and what it means to be satisfied. Not settling, but being satisfied where you are and the energy that you hold, the energy that you carry, the energy that you emit, the energy that you exude, the energy that you are just by being who you are. Yes, okay. I love that. <laughs> None of that may be energy. 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 None of that 
mean be energy, energy.